Hey, how's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to Chef Paolo's Kitchen. Uh, first day of March, it's been kind of a cold three or four weeks here, but uh, the sun was coming out today. It was a beautiful day. Uh, I am gonna do a nice little pork, uh, seared pork loin salad. It's an Asian style salad with you today. And the reason being is I was out all weekend and went some, to some friends restaurants and had, an, had some amazing meals. So I had some uh, fried chicken and waffles and beignets at a friend's place. We went out, experienced a, the most amazing nachos I've ever had in my life. I also experienced an amazing case of heartburn at the end of the day yesterday. And when I'm feeling a little rough, I like to feed myself really well. And my body just kind of screams out, tells me I need some nice, healthy food. And today was a beautiful day out, made me feel like doing a salad. So that's what we're going to do tonight, folks. So uh, we've got a couple things going on for you here. I've got some uh, marinated pork loin. Now, uh, I went by the Pacific Ocean Market this afternoon. So where, where I live here in Colorado, that's it's a big Asian market and I highly encourage it. So this is a little bit different than some of the demos that I've done before. And it takes a few extra ingredients you might not have around your pantry, but you know, pick up a few of these things and it broadens your world of what you can do with food. And those Asian flavors, flavors are nice, they're refreshing and beautiful. So it's all gonna start with this. So I've got a nice uh, Asian vinaigrette here. So you can pick up this up at the store if you want. I like to make them just right here in the squeeze bottle. So I've got some tamari, some yuzu, which is like an Asian citrus juice. Uh, I've got a little bit of sesame oil, just a little bit of vegetable oil, canola oil. I've got a touch of sriracha, just for that little bit of heat, doesn't make it too spicy. Uh, a little bit of sesame, uh, seeds as well. And I'm going to actually sweeten it up a little bit. Here's a little trick. So I've got some of these beautiful little uh, baby pears that I'm actually going to slice up and put in the salad. It's just a little bit of the juice that uh, it came in. And I'm going to dump a little bit of that juice in here and just get this, get this uh, dressing nice and rounded out. So I'm going to get my pan going here to sear off this pork loin. Now it's cut really thin. It's marinated. It's not going to take me very long to... Uh, to do it, so <clears throat> here's the big thing with this. So think a salad, you know, pretty easy. You've got a bit of vegetable prep going on here. So you've got a little bit of time and you gotta spend chopping the stuff up. I've done some of it for you ahead of time here. And we're gonna start, I'm gonna kind of marinate a few of these vegetables. Uh, some of them uh, go a little bit better if you soak them for a little bit of time in the dressing. So right here, I've got a little bit of shaved asparagus and some really finely shaved Brussels sprouts. And we're just gonna shake that up, put a little bit of that dressing on there and kind of toss it around. It almost starts cooking it. So, you know, cooking doesn't necessarily mean you gotta have fire and heat involved. Because of the salt and the acid, it starts to kind of cook those vegetables and tenderize them up a little bit, let a little bit of that water out. So I'm just gonna put these aside really quick, see what else I got here. So. As my pan heats up, I'm just going to start chopping some more of the vegetables. Now, just for time reasons, to show you guys what's going on, I, I kind of chopped up some of this stuff ahead of time. But here I've got some nice, beautiful Napa cabbage that I picked up at the Asian uh, market. Uh, it's just, it's a little bit more lettuce-like, so to speak. Uh, and it doesn't have as much of a strong uh, cabbage flavor. It's just a little bit sweeter. I'm gonna go ahead and just get that going in my salad bowl. Now, uh, a little bit of shredded carrots. You could do it on your little cheese grater. If you've got knife skills like me, you can do it with a knife, right? So we're just gonna get some carrots in there. Uh, some nice little sweet red bell peppers are gonna go in the bowl <clears throat> as well. Okay. So we'll show you what that's looking like. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So just a nice colorful start to the salad, right? <clears throat> Let's see, what do we got going on here? So, oh, some really cool things. Now, this is why I love going to the Asian market because I, I just look over and I'm in the vegetable section and they have this already pre-shredded up like fresh bamboo. I taste a little bit because it's just open there in like a bin, all shredded up. And it's just nice and sweet and mild. Um, almost like a carrot, but just really interesting flavor. So I've got, we're going to get some nice shredded bamboo in there. I've got some beautiful little, uh, uh, bam, uh, what, what is this? 
uh, some sprouts, some bean sprouts. <laughs> I'm like, ah, okay. Uh, one of my favorites. Now, this is almost, for those of you who are not very familiar with it, uh, I've got a little hearts of palm. Um, again, nice and sweet. They almost, to me, they have a little bit of a flavor of like an artichoke heart. And I'm just going to get some of those sliced up here. And I can feel the heat coming off that pan right now. So I think that my pan is almost ready to start searing this pork. Um, in the meantime, I've got my hearts and palms sliced, sliced up in there. Um, and I'm just going to test the... Test the pan. Oh yes, just kind of stuck my finger in it real quick because you know because I don't feel pain in my fingertips anymore. But um, just to see if it was hot enough. Oh uh, yeah, look at that nice little marinated pork loin. All right. So um, in the meantime, check these out. So I've got some soba noodles that I'm going to top this salad with a little bit and. Uh, Soba noodles are uh, uh, Japanese buckwheat noodle. Now, the good news is you would think buck, when you hear the words wheat, all sorts of gluten going on there. Buckwheat is actually gluten-free. So great dish for anybody that you want to serve that, that's trying to lay off the gluten. Uh, and these, I found, are infused a little green tea flavor. I just thought, wow, that is, that is really beautiful. And so... Um, you know, we're just going to keep adding the stuff here as this, as this uh, pork sears away here. Let's see if I got some tongs. What do we got here? Yeah. All right. So I've got some of these little baby pears. And just going to add a little nice little fruity sweetness to each little bite. So I'm going to slice up some of these. Add these to the salad. And I can tell we've been like, it's been like a minute on one side. We've got like another minute. We're going to flip them and they're going to be good. Now, um, I thought about chopping up a little fresh mint and cilantro, putting it right in the vinaigrette. Instead, I just picked all the stems off and I'm actually just going to add like some nice fresh herbs right to the salad. Now, look at that. Beautiful. So it just gives it that fresh brightness to it. So look at how colorful this salad is. You know, I just know it's gonna make me feel good. Just when I start adding all those fresh vegetable colored flavors in there. Oh yeah, I can see that, that marinade that I put on there. So I put on just a little bit of a, I found like a satay uh, marinade. It was kind of like a, a powder. It was almost like a curry powder, but I could tell opening it didn't have a lot of curry in it. And then I also mixed it with a little bit of, uh, almost like a, Japanese barbecue sauce, a tonkatsu or like a hoisin sauce. Just kind of marinate it 15, 20 minutes. And you know, then I'm gonna take even just that extra couple minutes on the uh, Brussels sprouts and the asparagus. Just kind of got them cooking a little bit. And we're gonna get those in there. Now, as I wait for my pork to just finish up, I'm gonna go ahead and dress this, all right? So. Got your dressing, make sure you shake it up really good. Just gonna get that in there. Oh yeah. So, toss this around. Beautiful. Oh yeah, so this is great. Now, that's pretty much it. You know, I had these soba noodles cooked off ahead of time. They're really easy. They take about three minutes to cook and a little bit of like slightly salted water. Um, Soba, soba noodles look great. You can eat them hot, you can eat them cold. I chose to put them in the fridge and cool them down a little bit. And I actually put a little bit of this dressing on them as they were cooling down. It's gonna soak up a little bit of that flavor. So, um, perfect. It looks like my pork is uh, just about there. I'm just gonna pull it out here. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So get that turned off there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slice this pork. Oh, it's beautiful. Now. I still have a little bit of pink going on in that pork loin. Now, um, you can serve pork medium rare. Um, I'll get a little bit closer to medium just because my perf uh, my personal preference, but <clears throat> don't worry. If your pork is a little bit underdone, um, it's actually really good. It's something that pains me a little bit to see people take a really nice pork loin and, and completely cook it. Um, 
there's a little myth behind that that well there's it used to cause trichinosis but it just it doesn't there hasn't been a diagnosed case of trichinosis since 1952 so go ahead and cook that pork just a tiny bit under if you'd like all right so look at that nice beautiful glistening marinated seared pork and we're going to kind of move some stuff around here so you can guys can see what i'm going to do here the final final <clears throat> we're just plating ourselves up a nice little salad right okay so <clears throat> I'm going to take some of these nice marinated vegetables, all this, get it right here, you know, right in the middle of the bowl there. It's going to make me feel great. All right, I'm going to take some of my, just these little soba noodles. I am far from an expert with the chopsticks, but, you know, hey, bear with me here. All right, so I'm just going to get a little bit of that. Kind of nestled down in there. Maybe I'll even put a little bit more vegetables. If I can get a bite. All right, we're just gonna put a little of this pork right here. Beautiful. And then um, I got a little bit of uh, just toasted salted peanuts, all chopped. Just give it a little bit of crunch, a little more protein on there for me. And look at the hat. I've got a beautiful. Uh, marinated pork loin salad, Asian style with a little bit of uh, green tea, soba noodles, Napa cabbage, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, hearts of palm. It's going to be delicious and uh, it's going to make me feel like a million bucks. So uh, <clears throat> you guys enjoy and have a great night. I'm going to just try this out right now. I nailed it. It's delicious. I'm going to relax. Enjoy the rest of my evening off and uh, take my time with this salad. You guys have a great night.